Welcome back to The Lost Digit. Today we're looking at an Arduino using a Hydrogyrum switch, which is another name for Mercury. Uh, the way this switch works is it can be used kind of like a tilt sensor. So it has two filaments inside and the Mercury allows for the electrical contact to be made. So when it is tilted, the Mercury goes up and breaks the contact. And when it is flat or upwards, the Mercury continues the circuit. So we're gonna need for my MacBook Pro a USB-C to type A, a USB-A to type B for the Arduino, some jumpers, and that's all you really need other than a computer. So first thing to do is to connect the G to ground, and we'll put that usually with a black wire to the ground on the Arduino. The here it said R, which could be red or voltage. So we're going to use five volts for the Arduino. And then we're going to connect it to pin five because that's what I used in my code. That's all you really need in the beginning uh, to get started and try my, you know, demo code. Just plug in the Arduino, plug in the adapter if you have a MacBook, and then plug it to your computer. The rest will all be done on the computer. So if you open my uh, GitHub, the lost digit from the link below, you'll find the Hydrogyrum sample code, which I've written. And the way this works is you can download the file or just copy and paste it into your Arduino IDE. And first we initialize the pin to five because we plugged it to five. And then I create a variable called tilt and that is just gonna be the sensor reading. Next in the setup, we set up the serial connection to 9600 for the baud rate. And then we set the pin mode, which is pin five, as an input. So this way the Arduino knows to read from this pin, not to write to this pin. Now in the loop, which will be running continuously, we'll have digital read pin five. We'll add a delay of 100 milliseconds so that it reads at 10 times per second. And then we'll just have a simple if statement that says if the tilt is high, which means the pin is reading high, print circuit open, it's tilted, else circuit closed. So if you open your IDE, it should look something like this. And then the only thing you need to do now after plugging it in is make sure that you select the correct board. So for us, it's a Arduino Uno, and then select the correct port, which will be something like a USB modem on a Mac or a COM port on other computers. Verify the code, make sure there's no errors, and then upload it. Once it uploads, you can see on the bottom that it says done uploading. Then it should start running automatically. So now you can open the serial monitor. Make sure on the bottom that the baud rate is what you had set in the code, which for this code is 9600. And now you can see that when it is tilted here, circuit open, it's tilted, or circuit closed, it's flat. This is a great alternative to programming an accelerometer because this will allow you to know whether or not your device or robot or project is tilted without having to use an accelerometer. So you don't have to read all these uh, different directions and X, Y coordinates and Z. You can just, you know, get a simple one bit response of tilted or not tilted. So thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you like these things. I'm going to be making a lot more Arduino tutorials and I'll be putting them all on GitHub. See you in the next one.